In 2013, Explorer 1 accomplished a surprising achievement by becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. This extraordinary accomplishment happened 36 years after its takeoff from Earth. The space apparatus presently resides 14.5 billion miles from Earth, requiring about two days for the transmission and collection of messages. NASA engineers never hypothesized that Explorer 1 would continue its space investigation for almost 50 years. In 2013, Explorer 1 identified 500 unidentified objects moving through space, igniting immense conversation. Notably, Popular podcaster Joe Rogan joined the discussion to shed light on the disruptive implications of this uncommon discovery. These strange objects could have been created by extraterrestrial creatures or simply been a malfunction of the space apparatus. The mystery has fascinated researchers for quite some time. However, recent extraordinary encounters in deep space have sent shockwaves through the scientific community, possibly revealing insights into the age-old question of the existence of extraterrestrials. Joe Rogan, a prominent reporter and podcaster known for his distinct interest in examining extraterrestrials and the possibility of advanced civilizations, has previously hosted guests like David Grush and Abai Ben to explore the potential for life beyond Earth. The notable Explorer 1 mission was conceived in the 1970s when NASA researchers had the opportunity to truly grasp the vastness of our immense universe. It all began with an unlikely alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, the four largest planets in our solar system. A young PhD student named Gary Flandro discovered a remarkable celestial phenomenon that would guide space exploration in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The four planets aligned in a stunning configuration, resembling pearls on a great necklace, with Earth nestled among them. This discovery sent waves of excitement through NASA as it presented a unique opportunity to streamline the trajectory of a spacecraft by cleverly utilizing the gravitational pull of each planet during flybys. Flandro estimated that these gravity assists from the giant planets could shorten the flight time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12 years. However, this celestial alignment occurred only once every 176 years, prompting NASA to embark on an ambitious mission to capitalize on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 were twin spacecraft launched in 1977 to investigate the mysteries of the solar system. Launched 15 days apart, they became integral components of NASA's Explorer space program, a testament to humanity's insatiable curiosity and quest for knowledge. For nearly 50 years, Explorer 1 has been transmitting valuable data back to Earth through NASA's deep space network, bridging the gap between our earthly existence and the secrets that lie beyond. Currently, Explorer 1 is 24 billion kilometers away from Earth, standing as the farthest man-made object from our planet. The spacecraft was meticulously designed and built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and began its historic journey from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, propelled by a Titan 3E launch vehicle. One key feature of Explorer 1 S launch was the presence of dual redundant computer systems. Both Explorer 1 and its twin Explorer 2 were equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystems, AACS. This redundancy ensured smooth transitions between systems and the ability to activate dormant computers when necessary, thereby extending their lifespan. The computer systems on board the spacecraft were arranged as a distributed system with three redundant sets of computers, ensuring that if one system failed, the others could seamlessly take over, preventing critical failures. Power management is a crucial aspect for maintaining the operational integrity of Explorer 1, especially as the spacecraft's distance from the sun, where it can harness solar power, presents significant challenges. Engineers had to devise innovative ways of monitoring and optimizing power usage, including implementing specific power shutdowns for non-essential systems. In summary, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 have been instrumental in uncovering the secrets of the nearby solar system and interstellar space, providing pivotal insights into the vastness of space and the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. Explorer 1 is a space probe that has defied all odds transmitting vital information nearly 50 years after its launch. Initially expected to last only five years, Explorer 1 has been equipped with a wide array of scientific instruments and subsystems. 
These instruments were strategically placed on the spacecraft's body, which contains an astonishing 65,000 individual parts. One of the enduring instruments on both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 is the Low Energy Charged Particle Detector. This instrument boasts three sets of particle sensors that measure the number of low-energy particles striking it, as well as their speed. It continuously monitors high-energy radiation and particles coming from the sun, planets, and interstellar space. A companion instrument, the Cosmic Ray Detector, actively searches for high-energy particles from both the sun and other celestial sources. The Plasma Wave Subsystem, which includes two extended radio antennas arranged at right angles to each other, serves as a critical tool for measuring the electric field components of potential waves encountered at the outer planets. However, its role has evolved as the explorers ventured into interstellar space. Over the years, engineers have made remarkable technical advancements and improvements in power management techniques, including more efficient power distribution, enhanced battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. Explorer 1 continues to transmit essential data, demonstrating the dedication and creativity of the engineers and scientists who have worked tirelessly to keep it operational. The Explorer missions, initially designed to study the magnetic fields of outer planets, have undergone significant changes as they journey into interstellar space. The magnetometer, originally focused on the magnetic fields of outer planets, now plays a crucial role in studying the transition region between interplanetary and interstellar media. This instrument is used to examine the magnetic properties of the transition zone, the boundary where the sun's magnetic influence gives way to the magnetic field of interstellar space. The plasma science instrument, which analyzes the low energy particles within the plasma, is currently operational only on Explorer 2. This instrument embodies the ongoing scientific investigation that NASA has embraced. The agency has intentionally deactivated radiators on both spacecraft after 21 years of operation and non-essential instruments have been permanently turned off. The power source for each spacecraft is three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which use the heat generated by the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 to produce power. As plutonium-238 continues to decay, it will eventually be unable to provide power, leading to the suspension of all instruments around 2025. To extend the operational lifespan of both spacecraft until 2027, the Explorer team is employing careful power management strategies. Each spacecraft is equipped with transmitters to maintain communication with Earth, and the primary transmitter emits about 20 watts of power. However, the strength of the signal from Explorer 1 reaching Earth is 20 million times weaker than that of a modern wristwatch battery. Explorer 1's journey through space has not only expanded our understanding of the solar system, but also provided crucial insights into the nature of the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles surrounding the sun. As Explorer 1 moved further from the sun, it began to encounter different environmental conditions than those experienced by previous spacecraft. Perhaps one of its most significant contributions has been its role in mapping the structure of the heliosphere and its boundary, known as the heliopause. This boundary marks the transition between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, where the sun's influence wanes and material from other stars begins to dominate. By sending back data from its plasma wave instrument, Explorer 1 has helped scientists better understand the behavior of plasma in this transitional zone. This information is critical for understanding how cosmic rays from outside the solar system interact with the heliosphere and how these interactions affect space weather. Such insights are vital not only for space science, but also for protecting future spacecraft and astronauts from harmful space radiation. Another key aspect of Explorer 1's mission is its contribution to the study of magnetic fields. As Explorer 1 crossed the boundary into interstellar space, it provided the first direct measurements of the magnetic field beyond the sun's influence. These measurements have been instrumental in enhancing our understanding of the magnetic environment of the interstellar medium. The data collected helps scientists model the magnetic interactions between different regions of space and understand how these interactions influence large-scale phenomena. Explorer 1's longevity and continued data transmission have also contributed to a better understanding of the properties of interstellar dust. The spacecraft's dust detector has been crucial in measuring the density and speed of interstellar dust particles. 
These measurements provide valuable information on the composition and distribution of dust in our galaxy, which in turn influences theories about star formation and the evolution of the interstellar medium. The spacecraft's ongoing mission has also shed light on the advancement of technology used in space exploration. The engineering achievements of Explorer 1's mission have set a benchmark for future deep space missions. The innovative design and resilience of Explorer 1 S systems have influenced the development of subsequent spacecraft, illustrating how engineering solutions can extend the life and effectiveness of space missions far beyond initial expectations. Moreover, in addition to its scientific achievements, Explorer 1 carries a symbolic message for any potential extraterrestrial civilizations. The golden record containing sounds and images designed to represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth serves as a universal greeting and a testament to humanity's desire to connect and share its presence with the cosmos. This message, along with the spacecraft's data, represents a monumental step in humanity's quest to explore the universe and engage with intelligent life beyond our world. Overall, the Asterisk Explorer Asterisk missions have made significant strides in their exploration of interstellar space and the mysteries surrounding the discovery of 500 unidentified objects. Explorer 1, a space probe, has identified 500 mysterious objects in the depths of space, sparking a wave of concern among scientists. Initially, data sent back to Earth was distorted, resembling a garbled message from the universe. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was baffled by the confusion and found that the Attitude Control and Guidance System, AACS, had switched to using a malfunctioning onboard computer that had been dormant for years. This caused distorted telemetry data. NASA engineers quickly fixed the issue by reconfiguring the AACS to transmit data through the correct computer. Uncorrupted data from Explorer 1 is now streaming back, but the question remains. What caused the AACS to use the faulty computer? NASA researchers have yet to provide a definitive answer, but have proposed a theory suggesting the AACS received a corrupted command from another onboard computer. Susan Dodd, project manager for the Explorer Interstellar mission, revealed that a comprehensive memory readout of the AACS would be conducted, followed by an extensive assessment of its activities to determine the root cause of the telemetry issue. Several factors could contribute to the anomaly, including the environmental conditions of space, cosmic radiation, temperature changes, and exposure to micrometeoroids, such as dust particles and debris from asteroids and comets. As Explorer 1 ventures into interstellar space, its plasma wave instruments have consistently detected the effects of dust particles due to their high spiral speed. When a dust particle collides with the spacecraft, it disintegrates and ionizes, creating a growing plasma cloud that triggers a voltage pulse in the spacecraft's plasma wave antenna. While other conventional hypotheses have been proposed to explain the telemetry anomalies in Explorer 1S systems, one possibility that has captured the imagination and belongs to the realm of science fiction is the involvement of extraterrestrial beings. However, this theory is highly speculative and not widely accepted within the scientific community. The idea of intelligent extraterrestrial life has intrigued scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Joe Rogan, a prominent podcaster and media figure, has explored this topic through conversations with scientists and UFO enthusiasts, particularly David Grush, a former Air Force intelligence officer and representative of the National Awareness Office for the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, UAP, group. These discussions have fueled interest surrounding the anomalies observed in Explorer 1S data. Rogan believes that the universe is vast, containing billions of galaxies, stars, and potentially even more planets. The possibility of intelligent civilizations elsewhere in the universe raises fascinating questions about their potential interactions with humans. If these extraterrestrial beings were to encounter Explorer 1, they might have noticed our spacecraft as it traversed the universe and decided to investigate it, perhaps out of pure curiosity. This scenario suggests that the anomalies could be their way of sending an eternal message, a form of interstellar greeting. The Golden Record, a surprising artifact onboard Explorer 1, serves as an interstellar time capsule designed for any intelligent life that might come across it. If extraterrestrial beings were able to access the Golden Record, they would interpret an abundance of information about Earth's cultures, languages, and the incredible diversity of life on our planet. This raises fundamental questions about how they would interpret our music, art, 
and what they might make of our languages and scientific knowledge.